Welcome, my name is Ashley and I'm with California RV Specialists. Today, I wanna show you how to do your initial setup with either your WineGuard Gateway product or your WineGuard Connect 2.0. What makes this video different is it will show you the current error we're receiving with the WineGuard Connected app, how I navigate around it, and how I do the full setup from updating the software, getting connected, changing the SSID and password, and I'm gonna do it all in 10 minutes or less. So let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is on your device, you need to open up your Wi-Fi settings. And so you click on your settings, click on the Wi-Fi. Now your product is going to come with a booklet and on the booklet will have the SSID along with the password. And so you're waiting for that SSID to show in your network options. And you will go ahead and put in your password and join. From here, I would typically toggle out of my settings. I'm going to go to my WineGuard connected app. Um, but I wanted to show you the error I'm receiving and how I navigate around that through the IP address, the back end option. Um, if you don't have your Bluetooth turned on, the app will um, prompt you to do so. Now, right here, you see two different gateway devices. You only see that because I'm the person who sets up all of the devices here on our RV repair lot. Um, typically, you would only see your device. So if that looks different than what you're seeing, don't worry, keep going. That second option is going to disappear here shortly. Um, and to get into your device, you're gonna click anywhere inside that white box and it will open up. Now, when we first open up, we already see that the internet source is on Wi-Fi, and that's what we want it to be. So in the bottom right corner, you see the option for scan for Wi-Fi, um, and we will go ahead and do that. This right here, this is the error that we are receiving. We get connected, we're trying to get to Wi-Fi, when you search for Wi-Fi, there's no other networks to connect to. It just says enter hidden network and it's not a hidden network we're looking for. I'm looking for the network here um, at our facility. So this is where I'm showing you how I navigate around it. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to close this app and we are going to open up a fresh Internet page, whether it's Google, Safari, anything like that. And in the address field, type in this IP address, which is 10.11.12.1. Your password here is going to be the word admin, all lowercase. If you do want to change this down the road, you can do in the network settings. Um, but if this is your first time getting in here, that's your password. Admin, all lowercase, and then hit continue. So we're connected again. Um, number one, we see the antenna status is our gateway device. It's that SSID that we saw on your booklet that came with your product. Um, under the internet access, the radio button for Wi-Fi is selected. And so before we do anything else, we want to connect this device to Wi-Fi where you are. So we're going to select scan for Wi-Fi. Now I'm in the city, so I've got 50 million different options. You select the radio option for the Wi-Fi you want to um, connect to and hit connect. And then you're going to put in the password for that network's Wi-Fi and then hit continue. This step right here, especially if it's the first time you're connecting, it does take a little bit of time. 
I tell all of my customers, let it simmer, let it do its thing. It will connect. Okay. So we see the antenna status. It's connected to your WineGuard product. We see the internet status is connected to Wi-Fi and it'll list your network name. Once you see these two check marks, you are connected to Wi-Fi. You can check your email, check your social media, whatever you're wanting to do on Wi-Fi, you can now do. But this is your initial setup. So there's two more additional steps that I want you to do. Um, this is a piece of technology that's been in a box. And so it's important to make sure that your software is updated. So how you're going to do that is towards the bottom under navigate to page, you're going to select the option for update software. And you see that there is new software available. So we want to make sure we are downloading the latest version. So click on the option for tech for latest version. You're going to click proceed and I'm backing up the screen so you can see, wow, this is a black screen with some really tiny writing all up in the left corner and it looks weird in person. And I'm just pausing right here to let you know, it looks weird. You're doing the right thing. Keep on going. So we've landed back here to the WineGuard Connect login page, and it makes you look like you've done nothing, but you have. It's basically starting us over where again, we're putting in the, the password admin all lowercase. We're still connected to our device and we need to rescan for Wi-Fi and reconnect. Perfect. So now we've connected, we've updated our software, we've reconnected after that's all been updated. The, another step that I want you to do and why it's important is if you go to a campground and you don't update your SSID and it says the WineGuard 2 GHZ and then a whole bunch of letters and numbers and you go to a campground and there's 10 other RVs there and none of them have updated their SSID. I promise you, you won't know which device to connect to. So I want you to personalize it, whether it's a pet's name, it's the name of your RV, it's your last name, whatever it is, personalize it to you so you know which one you can connect to. How you're going to do that is again, scroll down to the bottom of that page to navigate to page and select the option for local network settings. This matches everything on your booklet. Um, check the um, box for hide password. That way you could see what you're typing. This will be the name of your network. For this example, I'm just using the phrase happy camper gateway device because it's a it's a step process. We're connecting to the device and then we're connecting our device to the Wi-Fi or cellular. Then select a password that's easy for you. Make sure there's a capital, make sure there's a number, make sure there's a character that makes it unique. And then of course, take that screenshot. So in case you forget it, you have it in your pictures and hit continue. Right here, you see that message in red for please change your PC and mobile device to that network. So you're going to toggle back to your settings. And we are going to now wait for in the Wi-Fi network settings to show the Happy Camper Gateway device. And then we're going to put in that new password we created and hit join. Okay, so we're back in the WineGuard Connect. We're connected to our device, which now has our unique identifying name. We're still connected to Wi-Fi. 
Um, we know our software is updated. We're good to go. Now, if you are ever wanting to entertain the idea of camping somewhere where there is no Wi-Fi or you want to pay for data because you don't want to use Wi-Fi, if you need to sign up for a data plan through the WineGuard Freedom Go, you need to do it while you're still connected right here and you're connected to Wi-Fi. You can't do it in the cellular settings because you haven't paid for the cellular settings. It won't let you get there. So that little message at the top where it says cellular data package needs updating. For more information, click here or navigate to the, the data plan page. This is when you want to do that. Let's pretend though that you do, you went through those steps, you signed up for a data plan package, um, and now you want to switch to it. So in the internet access, select the cellular radio button and hit continue. This window right here does warn you it takes a minute. It takes a minute whenever you're flip-flopping back between Wi-Fi and the cellular. Again, let it simmer, let it do its thing. When this window appears and you see, you know, you're on your cellular WineGuard Connect Data Plan and you're on your device, once you've given yourself those two check marks, you're free to go about your business, get on your social media, your email, whatever it is you're doing. And then again, if you want to use the Wi-Fi option, you're just going to select the select the Wi-Fi radio button, hit select, and then it's going to take you right back to your Wi-Fi settings. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you need more information, I do have a printout of all of these instructions in the description box below. I hope you stick around for some more videos that I've linked here for you so you can learn more about LineGuard products. Have a great day. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I have to keep starting over. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a rush. Yeah. You're, <sighs> You're making me nervous.